Well, hello everyone. This is December Long Spoon for December 2022. Yeah, we're going to take you for a conversation a walk through our life and our home. Mm -hmm. uh, still a, a 30 minute conversation, but we've combined it with a slideshow that we've done uh, so that you could get kind of a feeling of, of our life mm -hmm. and the way it sits in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the conversation for this month is all about a deepening, a digital deepening, uh, what's of that? Of time of exploration. Time, of time exploration. Mm -hmm. And the other part is... Uh, I don't remember the exact words, but it's... A, packing some, up your life that's and yes. sending it back to... Return, return to sender. To sender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love God. that title. Oh, God, that was so fun. That was fun when that came through. That yeah. was. Yeah. That was. Oh, so, um, I, we had the feeling that as we worked with the presentation of the Long Spoon, things actually fell into place quite differently than, mm -hmm. than Robert and I thought, and I think all of us, is it's not because, but it's the, where the emphasis is and where the story, the thread of the story comes from. And the first was uh, the digital, uh, can you say that again? Deepening? The digital deepening time exploration. Yeah. And, and that's the whole uh, process of who has time for anything? Mm -hmm. You know, who has time to deepen? We, you know, we go through uh, different, you know, ideas and, and uh, but it's like actually being the ideas, mm -hmm. actually living inside the feet of those ideas. Uh, very soon after you read the book or go to the retreat, you come back and there, there is no rhythm for it. Right? Mm -hmm. There's, it's like you learned a new way to breathe, but there's no time for that. Right? Right. Uh -huh. That's what I experience. <laughs> yeah, me too. Feel. Yeah, that's the way I feel. So a lot of our journey has been to explore that. How do we change and then deepen our life to match up with it? Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to integrate a new pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that is the biggest piece. Yeah. Really. What do you all think? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just how to have a new relationship with time, you know, and to allow that so that you can start to explore it and to be present and look at things that you never thought to look at before that were just part of what you were indoctrinated with, what you were modeled, what what you just assumed was the way everything was supposed to be and how you were supposed to be and how you were supposed to act and think and, and all of that. And then all of a sudden, if you want to take that deep dive, you start, the whole basket gets turned upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I love how one of your most recent flip books, you, got, you all talk about how make time your lover. I just love that. I know. that. There's a lot to explore there. <laughs> it yeah. really is not an easy lover to be connected to. I think it's such a cool perspective, though. And, we're, and working, working with the um, deepening time, it doesn't always work with trying to prioritize or do lists because uh -uh, time yes. is outside of those yes, uh, yeah. parameters. And so, just how, like do, you, how do you integrate screen? that? Yeah. Yeah, we don't really, we, we set up to do it. But when you listen and you let it roll out, uh, because it's alive, it's image and word alive together, mm -hmm. it's like, whoa, it rolled out differently mm -hmm. than, you know, was first thought or even acceptable. Mm -hmm. I want to say here, though, that we are being accompanied by one of my favorite uh, pieces, uh, The Limna Scott, done by Christina and Gabriel Sam. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just so beautiful mm -hmm. to walk to. Mm -hmm. And we never even knew about it until we uh, did the wonderful workshop yeah. on bees. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, it was just... And, well, we and do have time. So relationship with time, huh? We have time. So uh, why don't you tell everyone what the Limna Scott Walk is, how it's set up. Well, the... My and Christina can add to her feeling of it, but for me, um, it's the it's the figure eight, mm -hmm. which is infinity, 
and it's also Levesque Pisces, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's all about relationship, mm-hmm. but not only with the earth and the relationship with the world of the hive, mm-hmm. but also uh, relationship with ourselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's what it's done is you you walk in a figure eight, mm-hmm. and you you go to one end, you curve back through, cross over, you make the the vesica, and then you go back again. And in that time, um, you don't talk. You uh, keep your, in fact, it's good though, you can close your eyes, but it's really good to just look out. Right, looking look around. out, looking, yeah. and, and continuing the walk. And if you have something that you need help with, you, you ask for that, and then you begin the walk. And the walk is kind of like uh, working with um, Tai Chi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's also like working with um, the uh, uh, the sticks, the mm-hmm. uh, oracle of working mm-hmm. with what is the oh, oracle? No, I Ching. Oh, the I Ching. I Ching. Oh, I Ching. Mm-hmm. That what you really do is you take your problem and you go through it and you walk out of it and then you walk back into it and you walk through it and into it until finally you unravel it yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. or and finally the pattern gets dissolved mm-hmm. and because you enter it because you take time to enter mm-hmm. the 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 uh the power of mm-hmm. the big rate and the infinity mm-hmm. and um now right now it's got the drumming and that's like in the middle of the walk so we'll go through think, a bunch of walks yeah because yeah, if i'm not true. mistaken i think christina reminded me too like ap- after you do it for like 10 minutes of that then the like the drumming reminds you to come to the center yes which is like the center knot of home yes and to pause and we created the music so that there would the drumming sequence would signal that return to home mm-hmm. and where you gather yourself. And, and you what gave you, us that idea, and it yeah. was fabulous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like it allows you to know where you are in time. Exactly, because you start too. traveling and you kind of, you are traveling the inner landscape. And yeah. so the music helps you to stay anchored to the path and to the the power of that figure eight. Mm-hmm. And, and then when you come to that center knot and gather yourself then you when you're done and the next sequence of the music comes then you reverse the order of of the walking the figure you just eight. go in a new direction you just go in a new direction it's not like reversing it mm-hmm. but what you do is you take everything that you've just allowed to gather and then that you use this last part of the limbus get walk to integrate and assimilate what you've taken in for like healing. Past, it's like, past, it's like allowing yourself future. to heal. Yeah. This is where you pack up. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you right. send it back, back to sender. Back. That's uh-huh. exactly oh right. You realize okay. what you've come to and then you and take it into your life. Yeah. And what I have loved the most with the limbus gut is taking one foot forward. Mm. So it's not like scat, you know, just uh-huh. taking a casual walk around. Mm-hmm. It. It's one foot leaning, bringing up the other, and the next foot, you know. It's yeah. like a slow and yeah, yeah. low, and that, yeah. that just to me is really can. And then it makes it well, and it mentally yeah. it changes your whole rhythm of not going shuffling through as a walk. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah, it's a determined, determined will walk. And I love how you can use a couple of rocks yes, that yeah, resonate with you or mm-hmm. some of your favorite rocks and you can put them at both ends and the then loops. you can mm-hmm. walk around and, and that's kind of neat. It incorporates the elementals and, you know, kind of... It's a way of being like in, in the world. That anchor, like uh-huh. that. And I think the whole thing about the long spoon is keep bringing people back to every month uh, a way to be in the world. Mm-hmm. I think the hardest thing to develop uh, and to integrate as we call practice. Yeah. But what it, the reason it's hard is we call it practice. Mm-hmm. We separate it out from living. We separate it out from other things that we do. And so what we have to do is start making our living practice. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you, you can, like the limbness got, you go back and forth, mm-hmm. you layer it, you come yeah. back to mm-hmm. it again, and then you think, oh, I can I can do this with this, mm-hmm. and so all at once you do these layers, and these layers 
then all at once become your practice living. Yeah. And yeah. and the then living in a practice is not separated from living, period. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the hardest thing. We have armor and all kinds of wardrobe that put us on a certain path and we must, you know, do it in a chronological order. Yeah. And so what I ha- we have found and I have found that it's at times like the practice yoga or the practice of qigong or the practice of meditating or the practice of uh, doing anything that takes you inward mm-hmm. and solidifies you uh, can be layered together. Yeah. They don't need to be separated out. So you're cooking in the kitchen and what you do Every time you fold things over, you're in the lemon scar. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh when God. you're stirring, I have done that very thing. I will, if I'm stirring, stirring a pot of something, mm-hmm. I will suddenly stop and start stirring in a figure eight, and then or kneading dough, I'll do it in a figure eight. I or even do I would, it stirring my coffee with the cream or coconut oil. I'll I'll do it. Even that with is my coffee it's butter. perfect, <laughs> and you've shown us we've talked so much about that how to layer <laughs> your your practice in your everyday and that actually inspired us to do this music because you if you don't have the time or space or whatever to do an actual physical limbus get walk that has so much beauty and and power in it but you can have just as much of that same exploration and travel and healing in your mind I mean you can do a meditation with this, like if you have to spend time in the kitchen doing dishes or, or folding laundry or whatever, you could put this piece of music on and it emulates mm. the limnuscut, the whole figure eight. So in your mind, you can mentally bring yourself to that moment mm-hmm. and, and bring your practice to that moment while you're doing something every day. And oh, so you layer your practice uh, yeah, that way. Uh, that. Uh, a man who taught uh, Kung Fu, uh, a teacher, uh, Robert and I went. We wanted to at the Y. We wanted to consider mm-hmm. maybe, wasn't it? Was it was some kind of mm-hmm. Chico martial, or, art. martial mm-hmm. arts? And we went there. And of course, we're one of the older people. <laughs> and mm-hmm. he was so sweet. It, we he came over and he told us. We said we were trying to work out where we can come there. Mm-hmm. And he says, "Well, you also can just sit here, mm-hmm. and you can just watch, mm-hmm. because he said you're doing it and watching it." And he oh, said, "Wow." I did that for a whole year before I began wow. doing this. I oh. about that. Mm-hmm. And, and I thought, mm. this is and this is a lot of integrating. It's like, be patient with ourselves mm-hmm. that we are going to watch it. We mm. are going to try to get it in. And then all at once, you turn around and it's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. like, um, the other day, I was like, so much was going on. We were building so many things and I hadn't got to do my yoga as and I really thrive on that and then I realized that when I went in there uh, to do different things I could do pieces of it yeah Yeah. and and do a piece and let that flow into the next thing I was going to do and that if you become more and more aware of your body more and more aware of your spirit more and more aware of the outfits that you've worn for years that that you can start shutting them and I think what, as you watch this, this beautiful slideshow, as we're talking about all of this, mm-hmm. this is our layers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is our lemniscate walk that we mm-hmm. have done for 30 years together. Where look at all those glasses, and that. all those different ways to see. Yeah. Um, that it didn't happen all at once, mm-hmm. and and not everybody can tolerate as much as we have layered our home with. Yeah. We actually have layers behind layers. Mm-hmm. But it's it's also, there are, that is happening inside of us. Mm-hmm. We have outfits over outfits over <laughs> outfits mm-hmm. over outfits. Yeah. And That's you begin to wonder which one, you're like Superwoman, jump, <laughs> you know, jumps out of the phone booth, or Superman, you know. <laughs> and, and, uh, and you wonder, uh, you wonder where that all came from. Mm-hmm. And people get impatient with it. But if you can allow everything to be practiced, even in intention, Mm -hmm. it will start happening. Mm -hmm. 
of the abundance. And that's the luminous cut. Oh, yeah, wow. the abundance that you see in the slideshow that you're watching um, is through intention. All of this was moments of intention, mm, moments hope. of a desire, a want, and a need mm. that um, was present that we listened to. Yeah. And we chose to be untaught. Mm -hmm. We chose mm -hmm. to come into our intuitive by teaching ourselves to listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had teachers within us, within us, and within us, and within us. Mm -hmm. Nesting and, dolls of teachers. And, oh, and that feels cool. really hard because you can't really explain that to people. People mm -hmm. are used to having someone outside, outside. of themselves yeah. teaching yeah. them. And they get certificates, and the certificates oh, help so take true. away the doubt of, of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. We had to live with all the doubt of no certificate. Yeah. But mm -hmm. our work is about living through the doubt into belief yeah. wow. and it's wow. it's a huge journey mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and uh and sometimes it's even hard for us to believe sure. mm -hmm. yeah. and day by day we have to do that walk mm -hmm. yeah and uh, cool. yeah i love that that's been one of the things that has meant the most to me about this work and traveling inside of the books, the art, everything that comes through, is that it always points me back to myself, to inside mm. of me. It never like points me to a philosophy or a belief system or a person or anything. It or always with a feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's always got the finger pointing back to me, to my inner teacher, and to my to being able to trust it and not doubt it and listen to it. And that has been the greatest gift to me. And that's what I've not found anywhere else, mm -hmm. why I love it so much, because everything else wants you to turn outside of yourself and follow it or them or whatever. And, and this always brings you back to finding the perfection of yourself and believing in it and going beyond the doubt. Me too. Layer by layer. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is a very phenomenal too, uh, profound that we're talking about this at Christmas time mm -hmm. and we're talking about the wardrobe yes you know and sit packing mm -hmm. it up and I remember oh there's Santa Claus right there <laughs> the whole thing about Santa and why Robert and I love it so is that it's one of the biggest things in our childhood that bought belief out of us mm -hmm. that uh, it, it's it, the spirituality of the divine was in many many religions and and that but it, there was this magic that was there that nobody wanted to talk about. Mm. The magic of the baby Jesus, the magic in Christmas, the magic of Santa Claus. And in the story of Santa Claus, um, the code is it. It's his wardrobe. Mm -hmm. He actually has to, in, this, in the fun movies of Santa Claus, he has to actually... He takes the coat. It's given to him. Mm -hmm. In later films, it's not given to just anybody. Uh -huh. And if they don't have the intent to truly make the North Pole their home and, and to surrender to uh, being Claus. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the whole process is in those films. But the coat, that is, that is the wardrobe. Mm -hmm. and you surrender to what that wardrobe is. Wow. So when you begin this spiritual journey, you are you are in a journey to have that mantle, mm -hmm. that, that mantle of belief inside of you. Mm -hmm. that, that belief is when we call the 10 of 10. Belief is one of the 10 of 10. You, you have to have it soundly to move to the other part. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so... We love Christmas because Christmas strengthens belief in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's belief. It's not the presence. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, they get so mad at this, this character. He is the character. He is the soul of belief. Mm -hmm. He had to absolutely surrender all of his, past, all of his life. His whole wardrobe, he had to pack up and send back to sender. Oh mm -hmm. He didn't live there. Like his whole saying. identity. Yeah. Right. Oh my but gosh. in it, he becomes this, this being of light. Yes. That, that 
and I think when people go on this journey, that is our biggest challenge, mm -hmm. is to embody the mantle that we took on. Yeah. It's really, uh, you think it's silly, oh, I love these dolls. Mm -hmm. you, you think it's silly. To me, they carry a lot of magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you think it's, the magic is in us. It's mm -hmm. how we see them. Mm -hmm. It's, it, the magic is between our hearts, our, our soul, our mind, and that image. Mm -hmm. So it's the word and image, mm -hmm. both joining to yes. create that. To yeah. create that. That's why we see Santa Claus. Oh, I love this I piece know. at the show. Uh, why we, we do this. It's not the gifts. It's mm -hmm. not frivolous. Mm -hmm. He uh -uh. is a being that establishes belief, and belief are, is one of the ten things that you must have to actualize the isness of yourself. Wow, uh -huh. I love that. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh. We've included in this uh, so our last show some of the things that, like from fairy tales and the characters in the council, the council that's important uh -huh. in the last show we did. Um, I think you'll enjoy seeing uh, bits of it. Um, I know I'm enjoying seeing it. Again. I know. Oh, yeah. I look at her in the woods. I mean, I'm always amazed how you do such a wonderful job with your photography of close-ups, and it really brings the the vision in close to you, oh, yeah. so yeah. that you so, you are focused into kind of a narrow burnt bend or a curve, and it really rounds up the whole picture mm, exactly. and uh, oh, speaking of pi pictures there make things look alive mm -hmm. yeah because they are you see but the you, animation. Animation. you, you see catch you it in a way that animates mm -hmm. like that's what my are. mother always did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and wow. I am so glad to have that gift from her mm -hmm. she could that's make a beautiful gift. animate I almost have. anything she wow. could sit little dolls up and they were like alive to me and when she and I would do a Christmas village and she she lived in this where I lived when I was raising the children. Uh, she would do her village and I would do my village. And I'd go over to her house and if I hadn't done my village, she had already done her. She would. I she if I'd done my village, she had to run home and do her village. <laughs> and, and when I'd go to see her village, it was like, oh my god, it was like everything was already plain and they just stopped because I was watching. Right. Mm -hmm. And. She breathed, she could animate. She animated the sleep dolls in this trunk oh that uh, I used to just be fascinated with. Wow. Just really. Uh, so thank you for saying mm -hmm. that. That is the greatest gift that I think I got from my mom. Wow. Yeah. That's a powerful gift that you have yeah, that she really passed true. on, that lineage. Yeah. yeah. And there's yeah. a belief, <clears throat> as you were saying that, that they actually are doing something, these scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. actually alive so yeah. when, when you look they stop you know yeah. so that's the magic in it is that mm -hmm. you know even though they've stopped you know that they're still going mm -hmm. they're still living they're still playing mm -hmm. I love their wardrobes. Oh, I love yeah. their wardrobes. Oh, the alchemist's wardrobes. Oh. It's so cool to just briefly I just wanted to share too that with the with all that we've been talking about it's funny that two years ago in December this mm -hmm. very week <clears throat> just mm -hmm. Um, that's when I passed in all of my old wardrobe of 15 years of being oh an occupational God. therapist and and wanting well, you to did. you mm -hmm. know leave leave that you know healthcare world behind and and believing that there's something that there's more. something more and uh, so this this has really nurtured me and I'm looking <laughs> forward to expanding and exploring more of this long spoon this month because it's really. It's really important, and I'm glad I got to return to sender on that. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. Thank yeah, you for including yeah. so that. It's nice to have lots of tools like this work and the lemnus kit to help process those things. And mm -hmm. you know, because yeah, there's the a lot of emotions and, in mm -hmm. returning an old wardrobe, Especially old patterns yep. mm -hmm. to sender. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? And anything that helps to unravel that and resolve it and mm -hmm bring it into an integrated accumulation of yourself really yeah. mm -hmm. and it happened in December which is a magical time yeah it really does the dark, see those so. before. yeah I just did those this oh, afternoon beautiful. I did uh, collages yeah. of the show 
because it's this is a time of remembering in December. Yeah. Actually, for I don't know how many years, we did 18 mm-hmm. December shows. Mm-hmm. Mostly, I think we did one at another time, but shows at the library. So we became kind of the the spirit of Christmas, and we knew we took it seriously. Yeah. We we believe in belief and uh, the journey towards that, and the and the wardrobe, the mantle that must be uh, must be sent back. Yeah. So so that we can become like Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That we yes. can uh, become the gift giver of belief. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is a oh, wonderful so thing to do it. and be. Mm-hmm. You know, the nice thing uh, that I want to point out, since this is probably up towards uh, the front, near the front end of the long spoon um, page that you're getting, um, that the layout is so beautifully done in the fact that the storytelling that you've done with your collages so you have the the image with the words so you really are as you advance down the page um you really you're reading your way through the images that what the images are speaking what they're saying uh giving um support and comfort during the month of december (coughs) which is the month of such an expansion of belief a stretch for some people and um and as the the dark gets heavier and heavier and darker and darker it's balanced out with a sense of belief and hope in something that uh, a lot of people do not see it is invisible to them so by you uh, being a member into the long spoon area you are saying to us and to yourself that I want to be fed and I want to feed this sense of spirit of compassion, creativity, expansion, Mm -hmm. love. And that's what this is about. This is to give that to you all and to receive it from you all. Yeah. We have a current, uh, that round (laughs) current going through this. And there's so much fiber here because it's really... I know, I love the fiber. You're going to love this this video. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, that... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really feel like it feels to me that belief is the the resolution and the antidote to doubt, and oh, it's God. like, so and I, I think that that's why I'm so personally looking very forward to the exploration on this long spoon because, like you were saying, in this dark time of mm-hmm. the year and of life and everything. A lot of times that doubt can try to be so loud and as you travel through and unlayer the levels of doubt from your past, your life and everything. See, that's the darkness <laughs> at December, the, That's just right. like the, the, the light, the solstice, mm-hmm. the Christ yes. job, they have to, bring to travel that back, through. To travel it back, to bring the belief mm-hmm. and so everything gives um, everything in this spoon, I can tell, is going to be an exploration of how to bring that light and that belief in those dark places. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to having something that I can go to when I'm in those dark All places right. and and be inspired and come back to belief mm-hmm. because that is the true mm-hmm. what I want. I love that. Father, Thank did you. you have something you wanted to say? And well, it's just kind of interesting to know that I've lived through for 30 years with all of this and to realize, to realize how much I keep changing even even with living here for 30 years. Yeah, when someone says mm-hmm. at your age you can't change. Yeah. No, <laughs> Not true. And it's, it's every day changing but it's all magic. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I guess we're kind of coming to the yeah. end. Everybody's thank you for thank you. the had conversation. I love yeah. these magical. Worlds. Aren't they wonderful? Yeah, <laughs> the magical. Whimsical these are the magical worlds. worlds that we get to live inside every day. When yeah. we take a minute, we yeah. can stop There's and turn. Always something it's because always we've there. changed our wardrobe yeah. and sent it back. Uh, so enjoy yeah. the conversation and the rest of the site. There's so much in this month's um, content that I think you'll be very deeply nurtured. And then also know that 
within the entire site outside of the membership area there's a lot to take in anytime mm -hmm. you feel that you can give yourself time uh, if you can give yourself time then you'll be able to give it to someone else as well yes and Dale sure hold mm -hmm. is included in the slideshow and his and his beautiful mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. um, Marianne Marianne mm -hmm. uh, in some of the uh, collages because they saw in us something they saw in us our potential of changing mm -hmm. the world and that matched up with their desire and uh so we were so lucky to have uh dale be a video our videographer mm -hmm. uh at this last show yeah, yeah. and then yeah. he created a whole show which we'll share on this oh, documentary. Uh, a documentary mm -hmm. on this long spoon yeah, it's yeah, it's fabulous. Fabulous. I, love, I love yeah. how much they talk, you yeah, all Marianne. talk about color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Mary Ann just totally backed him on it. Mm -hmm. She really was mm -hmm. wonderful. Her help was wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank, thank you, you very thank much. You all. We did Thanks. quite well. Shane. And Robert. Thanks for having us, Christina <laughs> and Suzanne. This is Sandra. Thank you. Thank okay, you. and we. This is the, the tabletop conversation for December. For December. Enjoy.